So you join us. We are Wednesday morning. And we are on the next one. As you can see. Footings are in. We're here labour only again. Um, to do the block work package. Um, it was going to be all brick and block work. But due to not being able to get the match that the client's happy with. We're going um, like a fibre light. Like a lightweight concrete block. Um, on the internal and external obviously full dense concrete blocks below DPC and then full course of brick um, up to damp and then lightweight block above I'm going to spin you around now and uh, you see what the score is basically footings in um, these cell cons have got to come down and be um, this pier's got basically that pier and that pier we're going to rebuild with these dense concrete blocks. Um, I suppose you're going to be where the cell cons is, where the cell cons are, um, returning and then coming back across this little bit of brickwork. So there's going to be like a little pier there built out of the uh, dense concrete blocks. And the same that side, and then keeping the cavity open there and there, we're then going to form our footing work and into there um, and then it's going up in block work so we've got two course block and then four course of brick to damp yeah two course of block course uh, four course of brick to damp and then it's uh, lightweight concrete block all the way up we're going double story so that's where we're at um, roof's coming off this porch but that's now out of our package that's going to end up going up in timber frame and then the garage you see it's the other side of my van um, all this roof you see to uh, this point is all coming down and we're taking from here all the way along along that side and back down the back that's all going to go up um, and have, have some space up there um, so yeah that's going up first floor but yeah, plenty of room to move about. We're going to get it set up decent, do it all properly. We've got three um, sheets of OSB underneath here. Gives us enough solid ground to mix up on. More sand coming down. We're going to get that dropped on here. Um, we've even got the gazebo. If we need it, we can put it up over this entire area. And that gives us somewhere nice and dry just to get a bit of break out of the rain because the weather is on the turn. It's a little bit moody overhead. It is drizzling as we speak. But yeah, this is the next one. And again, we're here labour only. Some materials up there, we've got all the blocks. There's four, getting on, I think eight packs of blocks up there. Two packs of bricks there for the four courses below damp. Um, dense concrete blocks for the piers that I've just said about. And then uh, later on, once we've got all that done, we're going to put a, a nine inch retaining wall in here. So yeah, so that's that's basically where we're at. First day, we're going to get basically just set up, get everything all bumped out. Um, and hopefully the weather does hold off tomorrow and Friday and we can make a start. But ideally today I want to get it all bumped out, get it all set out, put some screws in the foot in just to mark out the corners. And, uh, and then yeah, tomorrow, Fingers crossed we can crack on. Right, so we've just had a few hours here today. We've just bumped out. Got it all bumped out. Concrete blocks, there's bricks on there as well to allow. We've got four cores of brick on the outside under some damp course of block and then it's three course of block on the internal one course of brick that takes up the damp profiles are up beautiful yeah and uh yeah we're ready to rock and roll sand's here now mix is all set up and uh yeah, we're just ready to ready to make a start weather permitting tomorrow we'll be back here in the morning so yeah, whatever you're doing guys, have a great evening. Good morning, and uh, 
yeah friday morning just had operation sweep out on the footings had the pumps out up over there got a lot of it and now i'm going to be working at this end a little bit of surface water there going to sweep that off move the pump over to this corner because uh i think there's a possible break in this rainwater pipe um so like there's nothing to do with us but the water's coming down alongside the pipe and into that hole where it was just coming in and getting the footing up just checked all the profiles so these got put up on wednesday so you just checked them they're all sweet and um, so yeah we're gonna get a drier gauge in and think about getting this up the damp course which is up there so it's two course a block four course of brick and uh three course of block and a course of brick try and get that all the way around and maybe think about uh building this pier up underneath that end of the steel over there a bit later on right, so down in footing that's what it was on about that river nile coming down here and that was all coming on the footing so i've dug a little hole put the pump in it that's now taking the water off over there so yeah profiles up put the lines on um sat a block there so i'm going to just run out from the corner into there so that block will get lifted have a bed put under it and uh and laid all properly but that's just goes in the line for now um that end time for it. gonna get this corner the external up run this in yeah basically go from there and uh yeah and just keep on going to be honest and, and see where we get yeah, it's, uh pump's doing its job. Still uh, very wet down there underfoot. But, um, that is damp course. So there's two course of block, four course of brick through there. Got an air brick in here and an air brick in here because it's going to be timber suspended floor. And here we're going to put a couple of air bricks in through the front and obviously over on that side. But yeah, materials. Nice and dry, thanks to brick jackets. Yeah, we're gonna have a bite to eat now and we'll come back out after break and carry on. Sure enough, the weather, I didn't get it right today. It has been horrid. On and off, rain and a bit of sun, then rain. Yeah, it's just been uh, wet, wet, wet. But I'm gonna spin the camera around. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're pretty much up the damps. Just this little bit over here. I would have got it done, but we've literally just had the worst downpour of the day. So it was like, nah, it ain't happening. I've had enough now, I'm soaked. I've got a little rule, my own little rule is once my underwear's wet, um, that's it, it's home time. And that obviously doesn't include pissing myself. That is from rain. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to leave that profile up just for running that last little bit in on Monday morning. But yeah, air brick in there, another air brick in there, two in this side. Yeah, that's, that's just where we're at for now. But yeah, we've been in and out of the van all day, and uh, that's as far as we got. But you win some, you lose some. I mean, we're still winning. Clients just come home, she's happy. So that's the uh, external. Just noticed I've left a tie out over there. I've got to go and put a tie in on the uh, top of that second course of block. And then, yeah, we'll be back here on Monday. The old pump's done us proud today, but that's literally just from rain. We're, we're back under water again now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not been not been ideal brick jackets doing the job keeping the materials dry if we weren't for them we wouldn't have been able to do anything today so uh mr brick jackets i applaud you what a smart but simple invention absolutely perfect love them they've got me out of trouble so many times and yeah other than that have a good weekend and we will catch up on Monday. So yeah, have a good one. All right, good morning. We are, what are we, Monday morning? Here, nice and fresh. 
and uh, basically back in an extension job I've just set a board up here cut the piles of bricks gonna run in this little bit that we didn't quite get done um, on Friday due to the weather yeah, absolutely steam now and then gonna jump in here um, basically from here uh, coming out into there there back in um, keeping the cavity open it's got to be a, a concrete block pier so I'll start building that whilst I'm building that um, I'm gonna get Dean yeah, just bumping out lightweight concrete blocks all the way around the outside ready to start taking it up from damp so uh, yeah all good just gonna uh, crack on and I uh, hope you all had a good weekend um, sort of mid-morning now we're a little bit late coming here today we went and lifted up some block paving in Tunbridge Wells on a drive where it started dipping kind of thought it was um, due to like a water main burst or, or something similar it turns out we lifted the block paving where it sunk shoveled all the sand off I've never seen anything like it basically there's a room underneath and all they've done is they put a real thick felt on top of the ceiling joists of the room below um, it's quite scary really because they've had their cars parked on it but yeah you've got the timber joists running across um, to form the ceiling in the room below they put a real thick felt on then sharp sand compacted it and block paved it and it's their driveway believe it or not um, yeah I've never seen anything like it but we're basically down to lift the paving find the problem um, we weren't there to solve the problem we were just called in to lift the paving dig down because we thought it was a water main so we was going to reveal the pipe and so forth and just make it so it's repairable um, but yeah it's not it turns out to be ceiling joists and a real thick felt and all that's happened is over time the felt has stretched and it's now sagging um, between the joists so yeah we're just like yeah you're gonna need to call someone in um, <laughs> get you get someone to repair it all and then we're coming and reinstate your block paving at the very end when it's all, all complete so we're now back on the job and Cobra extension and uh, yeah we're gonna crack on and just punch up see how far we get it's just me and Dean again today um, I'm hoping Leon will be in tomorrow being Tuesday um, Lee's busy on another job so yeah it's me and Dean we're, we're gonna punch on and see how we get on all right so end of play Monday and uh, internal is up the damp you can see we've got two little littles over there over the air bricks same is under this one this one and there and there so we've got six air vents in this and all um, we're at dpc now yeah so all good start bringing up this pier you can see basically a, a one block out 270 across from this point to that point so like across the whip 270 450 and uh, what's going to happen is is my first course of block that I lay here will tie into there and then obviously my third course will tie into here we get a damp on tomorrow um, I need to speak to the client about backfill because I want to be able to take the block work up I need to be stood in there and in here and the same the other side and the same inside really could do it all scraping and backfilling and even if all this hardcore went down in there I mean if they don't do it then we'll do it first thing in the morning but yeah man we'll get damp on tomorrow we'll get profiles up and maybe we start fucking getting some block work up beautiful we'll get up and you never know well, hopefully, hopefully have Leon here tomorrow, being Tuesday. Might even get the internal up to scaffold. Uh, even if we get the internal up and external on Wednesday, scaffold Thursday. Be nice, be flying along. Yeah, whatever you're doing, enjoy your evening and uh, I'll be back here.
tomorrow. All right, slacked on the video this morning completely. Um, normally I'll jump straight on it as soon as we get out of the van so you can see where we're at. But we are now, well, we're Tuesday morning, aren't we? Uh, well, midday, mid yeah, lunchtime-ish, somewhere there. This, you see I've got this concrete block pier up and it was all that damp. Um, so now we've put a four inch damp round and then we've put 600 um, DPC round and then basically under the suspended floor when it comes to it, if there's a DPM or whatever, it can just lap up underneath. Here we're taking the block work up, lightweight concrete blocks. Just up, window reveal is there at the front. 3.2 opening, so it's coming somewhere here. I'm just going to take the block work up, same that side, and then do a bit on the pier. Then we'll see what the old Larry Lime is, and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. But progress being made, all good. Ah, oh, the weather on and off again, uh, raining again now. But block works up, what, three, six, seven, uh, three, six, seven course. Bearing in mind we're down there already, so it's that last one was a right stretch for me. Um, window reveal set out there and there. That side's up, this side's up. So, um, yeah, jobs are good and we're on the clear up now. It's not quite the end of the day, but um, this rain's starting to cut down now, it's horrid. Um, tomorrow we'll concentrate on the outside. We're going to brickwork up to about 600 um, with a corbel detail all the way around the extension, and then it's block work again above the corbel. So, yeah, and then there's a retaining wall to do, so plenty to get on with. And we'll be back here in the morning, so uh, yeah, have a good evening. I'll put some pictures on, and you can see today's progress. Well, that's it, literally an hour. Absolutely pissing down now. Uh, we've got brick bumped out around there. We've bumped out through the front. Um, just bumped out enough to return this corner because we're only doing uh, up to this corbel detail. So it's like 98 bricks through this plank. Um, we've bumped out enough to get us around this corner and sort of rack down here. So then we can take the block work up, up this end, construct this end first, and then we'll get up around this corner. We haven't bumped out this section yet because we're using the old spot board stand with a scaffold board, just keep the bricks up off the ground. Bump this side out, it's ready. So we've gone as far as we can really. I was gonna put profiles up, but I'm soaked. We're both soaked, so that's, that's it. Um, yeah. That's as far as we can go, that's all I've got to say. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, we are all set, nice and dry today. Profile up over here, profile up over there. I've got seven courses of brick to run round on top of this. Um, obviously wheat bowls to put in on these trays that are over the air bricks. Two round the other side, two on here, uh, two there. Uh, wheat bowls are here now. Yeah, all good. The seventh fourth round. The seventh fourth actually corbels out. Um, about 15, 20 mil corbel out, and then in the, on top of that, it's all block work. Um, new Rhino build external clamps built the last puffer piece of kit. Incorporate that with the Rhino build profiles. It's got the markings on it. The gauge 75 mil. Absolutely loving the Rhino build stuff at the minute. There will certainly be uh, ordering some more bits over time. Um, don't need to do it all at once, just every now and then. The old plan here and there. Don't break the bank. And uh, once you've got it, it's there. And I'm telling you, it's built a lot. That's rhinobuild.com. Um, so anyway, back to what we're doing. Back on the extension, like I said, lovely and dry today. Leon's just cutting a few blocks, um, basically to do, do carry on taking this pier up. I'm going to run around on the space brickwork and uh, hopefully we'll get 
get this brickwork up, maybe I'll start some block work. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, yeah, right. So we are up to I think we put six courses all the way around. It's underside of Corbel now. Um on that little glimpse any beady little eyes would have gone, there's no insulation in that. That's correct. Basically, we've been waiting on ballast to turn up to do the um lean lean mix uh, for below DPC in the uh, in the cavity wall. Um, so ballast has just come on this delivery. We're now, I don't know what time it is, early afternoon. Um, Thursday. It's Thursday today, isn't it? I don't even know what bloody day it is. Is it Thursday today? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the way with the fairies. Um, but yeah, Thursday. So, it's a shame we lost yesterday for the rain, because it would have been nice. But then again, we still wouldn't have had the ballast, so we wouldn't have had to go much further. And the reason I haven't put the corbel on yet, on top of that, is because we're going to now knock up the ballast and pour it down that cavity, obviously like a dry lean mix. Um, if we just put the corbel on that, we'd end up just knocking it off. So it's pointless putting it on to then have to put it all right. So I've left it off. We're going to get the lean mix in. Um, just give it a prod around, a bit of batten, get it all down to make sure and it makes, making sure it's obviously um, at 200 mil lower than a DPC level. Um, and then once that's done, we put insulation in because six courses. We're able to uh, we're able to put a sheet of insulation in. Just slide it in under the ties, and uh, jobs are good in. And then we will think about we we'll get the corbel on, and then we've got one course of block on top of the corbel underneath the windowsill. Um, so it'd be nice to get the corbel on, and then maybe try and get one course of block round on top, um, and then we might jump over there and bump out the retaining wall because um, we're having to put corbel on, then a concrete block. It's all gonna want to roll forwards uh, if we're not too careful and under the weight. So if we built block work up, there's a good chance of corbel of roll and the whole thing will come down. Um, but we've got the bumping out of the retaining wall over the other side. Um, and yeah, tomorrow we can come back here and, and uh, take this block work up, ready for scaffold. So that's the knuckles all smashed up. On the back of the concrete block, we did have to do the ring nits. Um, you can see down here the concrete ring nits in the cavity, so below damp. So, what you're seeing down, down there, there's a lean mix down below DPC level. Um, top of that lean mix is about 200 mil old and damp. Um, but yeah, all the way round. Jobs are good, and now we're going to uh, get the mixer clean and concentrate on getting this corbel course round. Got a corbel course now on this, um, stepping out about 20 mil. We're going to have to measure it on the existing build and make sure it's the same. Yeah, get that corbel round, and then we might think about bumping out the retaining wall that's over there. So yeah, jobs are good, and so far so good today. Right, so end of play Thursday. Um, we was down at damp this morning. Um, so yeah, we're up. Corbel's on. Uh, you see there's insulation in there now. So we've uh, done all the lean mix down in the cavity below damp. Brickwork from the course just above the air brick all the way round. Including the corbel. Uh, and yeah. And then three quarters of block through there. We had to do a cut because we'd put the corbel on, it then ran it out for the wall ties. So we put a 150 cut just to bring us back good. But yeah. yeah you see, there. we've got insulation to go in there and that now. But uh, yeah, we're, we're up and running. So tomorrow we'll get 
another couple on here we'll get that course just on here on the inside get two more on the outside there's a course uh oh 150 cut to run over here no sorry it's a full block under the window and then a brick on the internal uh, and then yeah we're going a 150 cut from here and then one two three four course we've got round and then we'll be looking over here on this retaining wall we've got a retaining wall to do it's going from this point round and up the drive to that point there so yeah have a good evening gang and we'll see you tomorrow being friday whoop, whoop. So it's Friday, sort of mid morning ish, I think, and we are up at scaffold height. So, yesterday you see us bring this brickwork up from damp corbel on, and um, that end we got the corbel on and cut the courses a block round. We took that end up this morning, that's up the, that, uh, up the scaffold height. Then put a courser block through here, and then me and Leon have just tube this end up. And now, uh, because I get the profiles down, I've got a corbel brick to put in there, corbel brick to put in that end. Um, Leon's going inside, it's going to take that pier up to the underside of the steel. It's got a few blocks just to put on this internal reveal here on both sides, and just to bring the inside seal up to match this out. So he's got one course of brick through. Whilst he's doing all that, I'm going to come over here. Basically, we've got a retaining wall. So at the minute, there's a single four-inch brick wall in here. Uh, it's been sort of two back, back, back. I'm going to be coming to this here. I'm going to be following that now up along, stepping up and round, following the curvature of this lawn. Um, going to be this bit's going to be nine-inch though. This new bit, so. Face brick work's going to come in here, then we're going to have four inch block work at the back. So we're going to concentrate on getting a bit of a tidy up here. Um, need to tidy up all this, clear all this crap out of the way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start getting bumped out, get some blocks loaded, dense concrete blocks. But yeah, other than that, it's all starting to take shape. All right, so we're up ready for scaffold. Internal, external, we're up to the same right now. Course of block through under the windowsill, course of brick on the inside, brings it up the same level. Then I took that pier up, got the pad on, it just needs packing in now. Once that's all packed in and parged up on Tuesday, them cell phones could all come out and we've got a pier that side. Um, but yeah, sweet Friday already, so uh, that's us out. We'll catch you back here next week.